be incredibly uh, profoundly traumatizing for, uh, for them, having killed their own parents. Either they do directly or indirectly by reporting by wrong by information the to the uh, organization, like the parents should not have hidden provision for the food, so they report it. When they report it, they kill their parents. So nothing that I one more question, uh, or two or three questions. One, uh, of course, we all heard about Paul Paul and the Ansari and uh, the ones, the big ones. Uh, and, uh, many of them already died, but uh, there are many other, like you know, senior and middle-ranking uh, officers in the of the Khmer Rouge. Uh, what happened to them? Are they around? Free? The military, yes. or military, or, or civilian party party leader, because the party has like not only the top six or top ten, but they have uh, hundreds more. Yeah. They are on. <laughs> so, uh, second question is: uh, You, as victims, uh, what do you feel about uh, them? Your, do you want to see them in jail? Uh, you hate them? You're angry? You want to see them dead? What uh, do you feel? For, for my idea, it seems like uh, at that time it was uh, boys, and it uh, um, seems like uh, people, they um, obey from one ranking to another. So, uh, example, if you don't do this way, and you will kill as well. So, you know, through different uh, uh, level. And um, so the reason why we got the international court here, and um, so we will find out more details in the international uh, tribunal. So, okay, oh. Do you agree with the international tribunal? Mm -hmm. You support yes. it? Yes, strong support. It's a lesson learned for our generation. In, in Cambodia, the same political order to move the family from the three town to the rural areas. After they go to the rural area, in the jungles especially, political team have to manage and arrange children have to go to their groups, boy units and girl units. Jan, I mean, female young men go to their community and female young men go to their community. Mother, they have to their community. And father, they have to go to their community in the whole country, especially the Jews. The Jews is the third target to get killed. After the first target is police officer, military officer, soldiers of the rank from the top until the bottom. And the second target to get killed, government officer, like a teacher, doctor, and, and the third target to get killed is the Jews. The Jews, for the first year, they try to, to get to know who is work for the government, who is the student, like my area, northern parts of Cambodia, different from Eastern Vietnam. Man. They invited intelligent the student to teach, but no. After that, we teach the children this day, primary level, secondary level, and then those of them very happy. And they get, after you in get a role, you have to go back to your home. But in fact, it is the way that could the people to get killed in to a slide museum. You know, tens of thousands of people get killed because of their deaths. They're cheering people in order to suppress the youth and to stop them against mm -hmm. the poor regime. They send the youth to dig, to dig a huge dams, and then canal. They work over work, very, very hard, no food, 
So some of you, they run away, get killed. Some you, because of starvation, they still get killed. Some you, they miss their family. Secondly, visiting their family, get killed. Some of you, they complain, why you treat us badly? Get killed. So if and some of uh, Jews, they got very, very sick, and they accused that you come from the highest position class in the city, often get killed. And some Jews complain a lot, and uh, no, and they visit sick 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 because of no medicine to cure them. Many times, one, two, three times, and kill them. So every day, we heard of crying for help, crying for justice. But really quiet. By in 1996, my father, Lieutenant Colonel Billy Foreign, got killed. 1976, my younger sister died because of starvation. 1978, my mother was killed because they were the accused of her of CIA person. So this even the experience happened everywhere in Cambodia. In the case, I really support, you know, the Khmer Rouge tribunal supported by UN. So I really want them to get killed because of the uh, uh, Cambodian constitution. It's not allowed to execute anyone. So we really want them to get in the prison for life. Life imprisonment. Thank you very much. Mr. President, I'd like to invite you to try Cambodian tropical fruits and also some Cambodian snack. Please enjoy. Well, uh, <coughs> comment, uh, because sometimes words are not necessary or never enough. Uh, I understand because what you say uh, sometimes is similar to what people in my own country went through for 24 years. And uh, as I said today in my speech, uh, during the occupation, uh, I myself lost the uh, three brothers, one sister. The sister was killed, we found her body because the people in the village, very far away, they saw her killed and they buried her and they kept eye on her grave for the following 20 years. In 2003, we exhumed and reburied in the city. And, uh, but then, one brother, he died in the city, in the hospital, so that was okay. But two others, still till today, 20 years later, we don't know where they were killed. And uh, so that, you know, even happened with my own family. So uh, you can imagine the less known people. In uh, your case, is a, a special particular case in Cambodia. Our, uh, I have always opposed a tribunal. Why I oppose uh, the international tribunal? Uh, because the majority of the crimes are committed by the Indonesian army. Uh, who is going to uh, impose a tribunal on Indonesia? Indonesia is very worse, uh, 10 years ago, very fragile. And a uh, very proud country. They will never accept an international tribunal. And uh, if an international tribunal were imposed anyway by the Security Council, it would be empty. Because no president in Indonesia would ever agree to surrender anyone to the international tribunal. And uh, we will set in motion also forces in Indonesia, not only Muslims, but also secular uh, groups, uh, nationalist groups, all would be so angry with uh, us. Uh, so it would be very difficult for our relation to normalize the relation with Indonesia. So 
So that's uh, one uh, reason why I oppose an inter tribunal because it will make it much more difficult for us to recover. To and there are many East Timorese who collaborated and, uh, with the Indonesian occupation. So who, who are going to start trying select a few as an example? Is that justice? You know, uh, because if you want to try, then try everybody from A to Z, uh, uh, not a select a few. Because when you say, well, we can only, uh, for practical reasons, because that's what sometimes international tribunal they say, for practical reasons, they try only a few. Well, that's all, that already sound politics. That's already a political decision. And, uh, and in our case, I also say, yes, okay, we try Indonesia. But why only Indonesia? Why not the United States? They're the one who provide weapons to the regime. So I say, in our case, you know, not in the case of Cambodia, I don't talk about any other, because each situation is different. Each people in your own country are the ones who decide what is the best. In our case, our people, the common people, understand very well the reasons of state why we do it. And each of those who are guilty, they are the ones who will be forever haunted by the crime they committed. And uh, not me, not the innocent ones. Those who committed a crime, the victim, the soul of the victim, the blood of the victim, will always haunt them in their dreams, in their sleep, in their lives. And uh, so that has been my philosophy. So, and, uh, and the common people understand. I was uh, elected direct by the people with 70% of the vote, even though they knew my position. And I'm very blunt. I tell people not what they want to hear, but what I feel. I tell them, do you want the International Tribunal? Find another president. I will not do it for this, this reason. When I was foreign minister, I said the same. Do you want the International Tribunal? Find another foreign minister. And still I was elected. Last year, the International Republic Institute did a survey in the country. My popularity rating was 83%, the highest in the country. Even though I... I in the world. Uh, probably higher in the world. And I, even though they know what I... Because I don't play politics. I say what I feel, the best for the country. Because, because they all know where I stand. So, but I say that's in each country, you know. In Cambodia, you have a different situation. Uh, maybe what you are demanding is the best for the country. Like it was in Germany after World War II, in Japan after World War II, uh, but not in South Africa. In South Africa, they say no to trials. I met with Mandela many times uh, when he first left prison met with him sitting in his own bedroom in Johannesburg, in uh, Johannesburg. One day he called me. I was waiting to see him and, uh, and uh, he was, uh, he just came out of hospital because he had a knee operation. And he said, well, uh, I call you to come here because I didn't want you to wait until I get better. And uh, so he was in bed, you know, and we were chatting and uh, he said, well, in the case of South Africa, after decades of apartheid, of crime, there should be either a tribunal in South Africa or an international one. But it will never end the trials. 